How's it going? Welcome back to the show. This is You May Roscoe. I am Roscoe. And today we're going to be looking at a video that is titled Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese Defeat Team USA and Prove Cheryl Reeve is a Fraud. Now, I'm going to assume that Cheryl, Cheryl Reeve is uh, one of the people responsible for uh, picking like uh, the USA team or who's going to be a part of that team. But um, this is the video that we'll be checking out. Uh, before we get into it, I do want to ask for anybody who hasn't, that they please subscribe to the channel and also make sure you hit the notification bell. And um, uh, I, I wanted to check this video out uh, mainly because it, it would be, uh, you know, video proof that, you know, uh, uh, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark can be on the same court playing on the same team, actually, in, in this one. And, um, you know, the world wouldn't explode. <laughs> <laughs> like, they they, they could coexist on the court and everything could be fine with the world. But, um, yeah, no, I thought it would be really, really cool to see these two on the same team at the same time and uh, see some highlights of that stuff. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and start. Let's get it. What happened at the WNBA All-Star Game? It was pure electricity. The WNBA team simply dominated Team USA. And guess who also shined? Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. But wait, there's more to this story. Cheryl Reeve, <laughs> the coach of Team USA, had something to say before the game. Media exposure. Is there any second guessing here about not having Clark on the Olympic team? Uh, from me? Uh, no. Yeah, it looks like someone underestimated the rookie sensation and ended up losing to the WNBA team. By the way, Clark not only played well, she broke the assist record. And Reese, she pulled off a double-double that left everyone stunned. Subscribe to the channel because in this video, we're going to break down everything that happened in this epic game. I'll go over the performances of Clark, Reese, and how Cheryl Reeves' strategy backfired. There's controversy, records, twists, everything we love about basketball. We need to start by addressing the elephant in the room, Cheryl Reeve. For those who don't know, she is the coach of the USA Olympic team. Days before the All-Star Game, Reeve made some pretty controversial statements about Caitlin Clark. But why all the animosity? Well, we don't know exactly. What we do know is that Clark made history in this All-Star Game. Let's get to the numbers. Clark set the record with 10 assists for rookies in the All-Star Game. That's right, in her first All-Star appearance, she nearly broke a record that many veterans veterans haven't even come close to. Clark showed game vision, precision in passing, and an incredible ability to read the court. She not only distributed the game, but did so in a way that elevated the performance of the entire WNBA team. And you know what's even more impressive? She did all this under enormous pressure. Just imagine, her first appearance in the All-Star Game after all the controversy with Reeve and with the eyes of the entire basketball world on her. Many people would have crumbled, but Clark shined. This WNBA team's victory not only silenced the critics, but also raised an important question. How can someone with this talent be left out of the Olympics? Clark's performance in the first half of the season was certainly Olympic worthy. But besides Clark, we have to talk about Angel Reese. Yeah, but before we uh, get into Angel, I'm going to push this back like a second or two. Let's do this. And um, uh, what they're saying about Caitlin Clark and why the coach um, and, you know, others that are responsible for, you know, picking the, the Olympic squad, why they left her off the team. You know, um, uh, they they had what uh, on, I guess, face value seemed to be valid enough reason if they were talking about just uh, the continuity of the team and uh, having players who've um, who are used to playing with each other be a part of that team. Uh, so uh, that being a reason why they didn't choose the rookies to be a part of that. But um uh, one thing that I think is incredible, well, for one, when they didn't pick Kat Caitlin for that team at first, I think she was in a different space. I think she was still like adjusting, even though like um, I did, I, I, I think that she should have been a part of the team just based off the fact of the eyes that she brings to the sport. Uh, but 
I can also see like their reasoning, I suppose. But then, you know, like uh, Caitlin has been like on a tear as of late, like during the WNBA season and this particular game right here with the, the all-star game. Um, these are players. He, I, I'm surprised that uh, the guy narrating this didn't even mention the fact when he was mentioning like all the obstacles that uh, Caitlin faced. Like another one is the fact that she's breaking this assist record with uh, people who aren't her teammates <laughs> on the normal. You know what I mean? Like normally, uh, you know, these are people from other teams who she doesn't have any, any uh, like, you know, normal uh, team continuity with, and yet she still broke this record, you know? So I thought that that was a a, a thing to point out, you know, but um, yeah, no, she's doing, she's been doing a great job. And uh, Angel Reese at the same time has been doing a great job. And I think with both of them, they should have been included because of, you know, just every, um, all the eyes that they're bringing to the sport, but less good team. But besides Clark, we have to talk about Angel Reese. While Clark dominated with assists, Reese showed why she is considered one of the most promising rookies in the league. Reese managed an impressive double-double, scoring 12 points and grabbing 11 rebounds. And don't think these were easy rebounds. Many of them came from the attack, with Reese outpacing her opponents and positioning herself perfectly to get the ball. What makes this performance even more notable is that Reese started the game on the bench. She wasn't in the starting lineup, but when she entered the court, she made sure to show why she deserved to be there. Now, let's talk about the MVP of the game, Ariki Ogunbowale. If Clark and Reese represented the future, Ogunbowale showed that the present of the WNBA is also brilliant. She had a simply spectacular performance, finishing the game with 34 points. Nice. But the most impressive part? She made 8 out of 13 three-pointers. That's right, the numbers are impressive on their own. But those who watch the game know they don't tell the whole story. Ogunbowale wasn't just making open shots. She was creating space, doing step backs, and hitting shots from long distance, often with defenders right on her. Her performance was crucial for the WNBA team's victory. Every time Team USA threatened to make a comeback, there she was with a three-pointer to maintain the lead. She didn't just score, she scored at the right moments. Ogunbowale's performance also highlights the depth of talent in the WNBA. We have Clark and Reese representing the future, but we also have players like Ogunbowale showing that the present of the league is in great hands. Now let's talk about Team USA's performance and the decisions of coach Cheryl Reeve. Despite their stellar lineup, Team USA couldn't effectively compete against the WNBA team. Players like Brianna Stewart and Aja Wilson had solid performances. Stewart scored 31 points and Wilson contributed 22 points and 6 rebounds. But it wasn't enough. The problem seemed to be more in the strategy and team chemistry than in individual talent. Several players seemed lost on the court. The lack of cohesion was evident, especially when compared to the fluidity of the WNBA team's play. Yeah, let me let me it's funny that that he says that the chemistry and all that when that's one of the reasons why the team was selected the way that they were but um yeah they end up losing to a team that ain't used to playing with each other <laughs> at all you know and, and what he's saying is uh when he was talking about you know the chemistry i get it that it, it's been a while since they play it's not like you know these ladies that even though they've played with each other before, you know, um, they don't get to play every day, but uh, because, you know, they just get selected for whatever the Olympics comes around or whatever the case is. And the sirens, of course, we have to get shout outs to, to the sirens that shout that show up out of nowhere. But um, yeah, no, let's uh let's continue. Let's go. It scored 31 points and Wilson contributed 22 points and six rebounds but it wasn't enough. The problem seemed to be more in the strategy and team chemistry than in individual talent. Several players seemed lost on the court. The lack of cohesion was evident, especially when compared to the fluidity of the WNBA team's play. The criticism of Cheryl Reeve was intense after the game. Many questioned her player choices and, more importantly, her decisions during the match. One point of criticism was the lack of tactical adjustments throughout the game. Even with the WNBA team dominating, Reeves seemed reluctant to change her strategy. 
This contrasted sharply with the flexible and adaptive approach of the WNBA team coach, Cheryl Miller. This game raised serious questions about Team USA's preparation for the upcoming Olympics. If they can't dominate an all-star game, how will they fare against well-trained and motivated international teams? The defeat of Team USA is not just a surprising result, it's a wake call. It shows that individual talent is not enough. You need strategy, team chemistry, and strong leadership from the coaching staff. The clock is ticking, and the Paris games are approaching quickly. So, what does all this mean for the future of the WNBA and women's basketball in the USA? We are at a crucial turning point. On one hand, we have Clark and Reese, two rookies who have just proven they can not only compete but dominate on a stage with the best players in the world. They represent a new generation of talent coming to the league with exceptional skills and a winning mentality. On the other hand, we have the established Team USA, led by Cheryl Reeve, who seems to be struggling to adapt to this new reality. The reluctance to recognize and embrace these new talents could cost them dearly in international competitions. The question that hangs in the air is, will Reeve and USA Basketball be able to make the choices that truly represent... I know you don't want to see Donald Trump retake the White House. I know you don't want a nationwide ban. ...represent the best of American women's basketball. Or will we see talents like Clark being left out again for reasons beyond on-court performance? The USA has a tradition of dominance in Olympic women's basketball, but this hegemony could be at risk in the upcoming Olympics if the right decisions are not made. This all-star game may have been just a preview of the drama to come. The ten Here, let me let me pause this and push it back one last time. Let's do like this right here should be good. And um, I, I, I think that the guy narrating this, I think his assessment of uh, chemistry being the issue, um, I, I don't think that that's the thing because um, both, uh, from a chemistry standpoint, I think um, both of these teams were on equal footing because neither team um, are teams who are, you know, have that, uh, that sense of familiar with each other, you know, like that. These are teams that were thrown together for this particular game. And uh, this weekend, you know, that this happened, but, um, but yeah, no, that, that the chemistry thing would be equal in that regard. So I don't think it's chemistry as much as um, the thing that uh, happens in the w in the NBA, you know, maybe happening in the WNBA is uh, some of the uh, you uh, more youthful uh, legs on the team maybe um getting past some of these uh older veterans i think some some of it is that a little bit and um uh just the the talent level from these newer younger legs that's popping up you know they not just youthful they extremely talented you know like um uh uh caitlin clark and angel reese in particular um uh, amongst uh, uh another a host of like young WNBA players that's out here like uh showing up and showing out but uh they are really really showing up you know um Caitlin looking like Steph Curry and and John Stockton John Stockton in one person and uh Angel out here looking like Moses Malone <laughs> so it's is 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 nuts you know like this is what you have to deal with, and they just rookies, you know. So um, I think it's just the new breed that's just popping up. It's it's just like when uh, the the Michael Jordans and whoever else after him will end up popping up in a league. When um, before that, you never saw dudes really moving like him, you know. Save for like maybe like a David Thompson or somebody, but or uh, Julius Irvin, you know. But um, yeah, otherwise, dudes weren't flying around the way that Michael Jordan was until Michael Jordan happened. And then a new wave of athlete just started popping up. You know, uh, Scottie Pippen, you could throw him in there too, but uh, let's finish out. The tradition of dominance in Olympic women's basketball, but this hegemony could be at risk in the upcoming Olympics if the right decisions are not made. This all-star game may have been just a preview of the drama to come. The tension between the old guard and the new generation, between tradition and innovation, is reaching a boiling point. 
and the outcome of this battle could very well determine the future of women's basketball in the United States and the world. Guys, what we saw in this All-Star game was more than just an exhibition game. It was a glimpse into the future of women's basketball and a warning about the need for change. Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese proved that the hype around them is more than justified. They not only competed on par with the veterans, but, in many moments, outperformed them. Clark nearly broke a historic assist record, while Reese dominated the rebounds. Arikyo Gunbawali reminded us that the WNBA is full of established talents that continue to evolve and surprise. Her MVP performance was simply spectacular and crucial for the WNBA team's victory. On the other hand, the performance of Team USA and Cheryl Reeves' decisions raised serious questions about their preparation for the Paris Olympics. It's time for USA Basketball to reassess their strategies and player selection to ensure they are truly representing the best of American women's basketball. So, what did you think of this All-Star game? Do you think Clark and Reese deserved a chance on the Olympic team? Or do you agree with Cheryl Reeves' current approach? Leave your opinions in the comments. I want to know what you, who follow basketball closely, think about all this. Your insights are super important to enrich this discussion. And if you enjoyed this analysis and want to stay on top of everything happening in the world of women's basketball, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Activate the notification bell too so you don't miss any videos. The WNBA is going through an incredible moment, and together we can follow and discuss every development in this exciting league. See you in the next video, guys. All right, cool beans, cool beans. All right. Didn't want another commercial. Need life insurance? Taking the first step is easy. Start. USA's preparation for the upcoming Olympics. I'm looking for another commercial. I just want the pick that I want. And I know it's back here somewhere. I know it's back here somewhere because I've seen it. I've seen it like Zenith. Where is it? It has both of these ladies, both in the, in the same shot, somewhere up in there. I know I seen it. I know I seen it. Is it back here somewhere, maybe? Yeah, it's back there. It's back there. All right. And so that was Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese defeat Team USA and prove Cheryl Reeve is a fraud. And, um, I'm I'm just gonna title it something else <laughs> when you see my video, but uh, but yeah, no, uh, this was uh, cool to see and uh, to hear, you know, the insight uh, from the the guy that was narrating this. Um, he made some good points. Uh, again, what I said about uh, chemistry not being a thing um, that that may be holding back you know, Team USA as as opposed to, you know, um, there's always a, a, a bigger dog coming, always, you know. So just when you think you're the big dog in uh, something just recently, uh, just a couple of days ago, uh, the USA team, the men's USA team, uh, were playing an exhibition game against South Sudan, and um, they almost lost that game, you know, um, and ended up only winning by one point thanks to a last second drive by uh LeBron James but um these teams from these other countries man you know and not that this was you know uh feature anybody from another country but yeah no it's just uh these little dog teams you know and we know that the WNBA all-stars are not little dogs but compared to some of the names you know, um, and the legends that are on the uh, women's USA team, um, the WNBA All-Star team, um, and some of those ladies haven't achieved that level of legend yet, but still showed up and showed out and still, you know, kicked some ass, you know, and uh, dealt uh, an L to Team USA, but um yeah no these are spearheaded by these two right here and um they are the future you know along with um uh, a few other ladies that's out there that's um uh, gonna help bring this thing um uh, and raise the level of interest for the WNBA because they really need that and um I couldn't think of two 
better players, you know, because they really are doing a great job of being um, a spokesman for um, their league and for the sport. So a uh, great job by these two and everybody else involved. A uh, fun video to check out. Uh, I'm going to leave, but before I do, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit the share button, hit the playlist option, uh, options, actually. Uh, you'll pick the one's name, basketball highlights, uh, and um, sports reactions. So that's uh, two separate playlists that you'll see this in, as well as um, anything else that's going to end up going in those two. I do have playlists for other things, a lot of that stuff being music based, but as you can see, I step outside of that. Um, make sure you check out those uh, those playlists. I uh, cash app dollar sign you made Roscoe, PayPal at you made Roscoe. Super thanks option is available for those who like to show their support or appreciation for what's being done on the page. Any donations will be made to those spots, and that's it. That's everything I'm done. I will see you guys again soon. So until next time, be safe and be good.